Hello friends, this video on Mineral Nutrition Part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk in detail about the symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation because we want to understand the process how exactly the nitrogen fixation will take place. Now in order to do that, let us do a quick recap of the process of symbiosis. If you remember it, it is perfectly fine. In case you have forgotten it, it is a quick re review for you. So what is symbiosis? So let us have a quick recap of symbiosis. As the name says, symbiosis. So the word sim means together, bio means life. So together living. So when two organisms live together for their mutual benefit, that is known as that association is known as symbiosis. So it is an association between two or more species where one or both are mutually benefited. For example, on the screen you can see a honeybee and a flower. So here the honeybee is benefited because it gets the nectar from the flower. So it is getting its food from the flower. And how is the flower benefited? The flower is being pollinated by the honeybee. So both of them are mutually benefited. And that is why this association is known as symbiosis. Now some of the examples of symbiotic relationships are uh, the buffalo with these birds on their back. You will see most of the time the crows sit on the buffalo. Why? Because the crows eat up the insects which are present on the body of the buffalo. So the crow is getting its food and the buffalo is getting benefited because it gets rid of those insects from its skin. The flower and uh, the honeybee. Again, a man and his dog. So the dog is getting all the food and whatever it needs from the person and the person is getting benefited because dog being a faithful animal will protect him. Bacteria present inside the human body. For example, in our intestine, you might see there are so many small microorganisms present there. So they get their food and nutrients from our body. And how are we benefited? Benefited in the sense it is not always positive. It might be negative as well. For example, these bacteria can cause infection. They can cause problems as well. Again, one, one of the very common examples of symbiosis is the lichen. That is a symbiotic association between algae and the fungi. So there also the algae prepares food for the fungi and the fungi provides a shelter to the algae. So these are some of the examples of symbiotic relationships. So on similar lines, now we are going to talk about symbiotic biological nitrogen fixation. As I said, the process of nitrogen fixation is all about converting the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. But that is done by the living organisms, therefore it is biological. Now it is done by organisms which share symbiotic relationship with another organism. So that is why it is symbiotic as well. So here we will talk about the association between the bacteria, rhizobium and the roots of leguminous plants. So this is a symbiotic relationship, rhizobium and roots of leguminous plants. And they also help in nitrogen fixation. So we will see how exactly the process of nitrogen fixation take place. So during the course of this process, nitrogen fixing nodules are formed. And that is a very important part. How this nodule formation take place? We have to understand that very clearly. So this is how it looks like. So if you look at the root of a leguminous plant, for example, any plant, you talk about pea, beans, lentils. So all of them will have legumes on their roots. I mean, how are the roots normally like? So the roots normally look like this, right? This is how they look like. But for the leguminous plants, if you look at their roots, you will have swollen structures like this. And these swollen structures are called nodules. So here you can see the swollen structures like this. So these structures are nodules. So these nodules are spherical swollen outgrowths on roots. And how they are formed that we will discuss very soon. So this is also a picture which actually shows the presence of nodules. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos 
attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.